Welcome back to It's Your Environment. I'm George Curtis. My guest today is Mike Staggs, the head of fishers and fisheries and fishing places in the uh, state of Wisconsin. And I think this is somewhat unique in Wisconsin uh, in that uh, we really have taken a strong position that uh, the water is public. It belongs to everyone. And if there's a legal way for you to get on it, you can enjoy it. Even if you're going through an area that's got private property on both sides of the stream. Do I understand that correctly? Uh, you're absolutely correct, George. The, one of the re another reason why fishing is so popular in Wisconsin is because you can get to the water and actually use it. So um, your access to the waters of the state is a constitutionally protected right in Wisconsin. Um, and it, basically, if you can get legal access to the water, like through a public access, a road wide right of way, something like that, as long as you keep your feet wet, or you're walking around an obstruction by the shortest method, you have absolute right to access that water. You are, that water is owned by the people of the state, held in trust for them, and you have the, the right to use it. And that's not true in a lot of places. So um, that's just a, a, you know, a, a great benefit of living in Wisconsin. And most areas have taken it a step further. It's hard to find a waterway that doesn't have public access. Most communities like Oshkosh have gone still another step further to make sure that there are public docks so that the people who don't have expensive wheels, boats, trailers, and uh, uh, equipment like that can go and fish if all they have is a bucket of worms and a cane pole, and it's irritating, they often catch more than I do. <laughs> yeah, the uh, Wisconsin also has a long tradition of trying to make available accesses, whether it's boat ramps, fishing piers, shore access areas, easements along streams that people can get to. But one of the programs that's been very popular lately, it, particularly in some of the urban areas, Milwaukee, Oshkosh, Fond du Lac, Green Bay, um, has been construction of fishing piers. Um, we have grant programs here in the department. We try to build, we have funding in our program for about 10 fishing piers a year that we try to build. Um, there are a number of other sources of grants uh, that are out there for people to do it so local units of government, sports clubs, others can try to build fishing access. We try to build everything that's fully accessible so that uh, folks that maybe you know, have some problems maybe using rougher terrain or a boat can get out there and fish. We try to build them in places where there's actually fish so that when you get out there you can catch fish. And uh, there are a number of projects all over the state that uh, we. One of the interesting ones is on some of the trout streams, we've actually tried to build handicapped accessible trails along the stream with fishing stations in, over holes or habitat structures, which is pretty unique too. So we, we work really hard. We really try to work with sports clubs, groups, and uh, units of government to make those kinds of access opportunities available. And of course, one of the things we're concerned about is making sure the younger generation is interested in the out of doors. Now, for many reasons, they can't go out with a shotgun by themselves when they're six, eight years old, but they can certainly fish. And we understand that in many families, there, it's a single parent family and a lack of resources, and there may not be a male mentor. But if there's a public dock, they can go down and fish in relative safety and really get imbued with the enjoyment and appreciation of the out of doors. That's so important, and I don't know of a state that's doing it any better or as well as Wisconsin. Yeah, it's gonna be really important that you know, we continue to get kids involved in the sport of angling. Um, you know, in the end, you talked about the environmental protection aspects of what we're doing, and that's really important to us. But ultimately, it comes down to you know, whether there are people using the resource, and anglers use the resource and they care about it. And if we don't have kids getting involved in this, then down the way, we're gonna have fewer anglers and less people that care. One of the best ways, like you said, is to, uh, to get kids involved is to expose them to it, which we do with fishing skills clinics, angler clinics, a lot of sports clubs and groups do that kind of thing, and then make them available a place where they can go fish. So um, you're, you're dead right on in terms of, you know, anybody can do it any day of the year. There's some kind of fishing going on. As long as you can get to the water, you can fish in, in Wisconsin. Now, you and I have to buy a license. Uh, little kids probably don't. Uh, but another measure of the Wisconsin fishery 
and its attractiveness is how many people who pay more for a license than you and I do, people from out of state, drive here sometimes hundreds if not thousands of miles to fish in Wisconsin. How do we stack up there competitively? Very well. Um, we are a destination state when it comes to people coming here to fish for all the reasons that we've talked about. Uh, we uh, have about a million and a half anglers, about uh, half of those or about a, fourth, a third of those are non-residents. And we rank second in the country in terms of non-resident fishing activity. And you talked about Florida earlier with all their oceans and year-round fishing. They're the only state ahead of us. But um, people come to Wisconsin. They recognize that we've got good fishing, good fishing opportunities, and a lot of people come here. And that means a lot of not only uh, that means a lot of revenue for the state. Well, and all of these things that uh, you people who are trying to protect our resource uh, do cost money. So let's take a break, and when we come back, start right there. Where do you get your money? How is it spent? And is there any controversy about it? <laughs> 